Hello children, today we are going to discuss about the map skill that is first standard 10 from NCRT syllabus. If you practice regularly, you will get good result in the exam. Certain tips to enhance your map skills. First one, remember the name of the states and their location. Use different symbols to mark the exact location and also prepare the index accordingly. Follow the boundaries to remember the correct locations. Do not share the entire states while locating a particular map items and practice at regular interval. And the very important, do according to the question paper. First map skill is from chapter 5 that is from mineral and energy resources. In that you need to locate 4 nuclear power plants and 3 thermal power plants. So to begin with nuclear power plants, here you can see I have given in red color triangle. First one is Narora that is located in Uttar Pradesh. Second one is Kakrapara in Gujarat. Third one is Tarapur in Maharashtra. These two are very close. Kakrapara and Tarapur both are very close. So remember Tarapur is in Maharashtra. And fourth one is Kalpakam that is located in Tamil Nadu. The next one is Thermal Power Stations. First one in Thermal Power Stations that is located in, first one is located Namrup. So all of you see here Namrup is located in, who can say this is located in Assam that is eastern part of Assam. Second one that is located singularly located in Maharashtra. All of you see here it is located in Maharashtra. Then third one is Ramagundam that is located in Telangana. So these three you need to remember for thermal power stations Namrup, singularly and Ramanugundam. The next map is about Manufacturing industries that is specially about iron and steel industries from chapter 6. Five are there you need to practice. First one is Bokaro which is located in Jharkhand and also another one is there Jamshedpur. Just follow these border lines and then only you will able to give the exact location. Both are very close. And uh, the third one is uh, Durgapur which is located in Ways Bengal, fourth one is located in Karnataka, that is the Bijayanagar. Fifth one is Salem, that is located in Tamil Nadu. Practice accordingly and it will become easy for you. Next one is also from chapter 6, that is about cotton textile industries. First one is Kanpur, that is located in Uttar Pradesh. Second one is Indore, located in Madhya Pradesh. Third one is Gujarat, uh, Surat located in Gujarat. Fourth one is Mumbai located in Maharashtra. Mumbai you need to remember for uh, also certain more uh, map skill items. Then fifth one is Coimbatore that is located in Tamil Nadu. Always practice the exact location if you want to secure good mark in the exam. These are about cotton textile industries. Next one is software technology parks and here one tip for all of you. All these are mostly, all of these eight are given, they are the capitals of the states. First one, Noida, it's not the capital, but here you can see Noida, it is located here in the Delhi, easily you will remember. The second one is Gandhi Nagar, it's a capital, it is located in Gujarat. Third one is again a capital located uh, in Maharashtra that is Mumbai. In Mumbai two are there, one is, uh, sorry in Maharashtra two are there, one is Mumbai and second one is Pune. They are also very close to each other, just practice. The next one is, fifth one is Hyderabad located in Telangana, again the capital. Sixth one is Bangalore which is located in Karnataka, again the capital. Seventh one is Chennai, that is also the capital of Tamil Nadu. Eighth one is Thiruvananthapuram, that is also the capital of Kerala. So these eight, Noida, Gandhinagar, Mumbai, Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Thiruvananthapuram, you need to practice for software technology parks. 
then from chapter 7 chapter 7 major ports as you know in west coast five major ports are there in east coast four major ports are there so here to start with kandla is located in uh, gujarat in the west coast second one in the east uh, west coast is mumbai in uh, maharashtra marmagao in goa fourth one is new mangalore in karnataka Fifth one is in Kerala, that is Kochi, in the west coast. And in the east coast, Haldia, that is located in West Bengal, Visakhapatnam, that is located in, uh, specially that is uh, uh, located in Andhra Pradesh. Here you need to mark it properly. This is not, uh, Haldia is the number one in the east coast. Number two is Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Number three, that is Chennai in Tamil Nadu. And number four is also in Tamil Nadu, that is Tutikurin. You need to remember all these properly. Again, just have a look in the East Coast. Haldia in West Bengal. Then Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Chennai in Tamil Nadu. And also Tutikurin in Tamil Nadu. Chapter 7. Again, another map will be there from this chapter regarding major airports. First one is uh, Rajasansi, Amritsar. That means in Rajasansi is the name of the place where this is located. And name of this international airport actually is Sri Guru Ramdas Ji International Airport located in Rajasansi, Amritsar. The next one is uh, Delhi. In Delhi, it is located Indira Gandhi International Airport. Then uh, here you can see third one is Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose. From the name also you can easily demarcate. It is located in Kolkata, West Bengal. Then fourth one is Chhatrapati Sivaji who uh, belongs to Maharashtra. Chhatrapati Sivaji International Airport that is located in Mumbai. Then fifth one Rajiv Gandhi International Airport that is located in Telangana. And sixth one, Minambakam, that is located in Chennai. Easily you can remember, as you know, you have seen uh, a movie, Chennai Express. In Chennai Express, the name of that actress, heroine was Minamma. So here you can easily remember, Chennai, in Chennai, Minambakam, it is uh, the international airport located here. So this is all about your map portion. Keep on practicing so that you can get the full mark in the exam. All the best to everyone. Thank you.